Residents of tower blocks in several London boroughs have now been told their buildings have failed a fire inspection test. But unlike in Camden, where residents have been evacuated until the buildings are made safe, Hounslow Council told tenants today they won't be moved. Victoria Cook was there. Residents of Clements Court in Hounslow have lived with this blue cladding for nearly 10 years. Now they know it's flammable and has to come down. The council have invited residents to a meeting here this morning to tell them what they're doing about this dangerous cladding. They've said they're hoping it's going to start coming down in about eight days time, so the beginning of July. They said that they're also putting a 24 hour fire warden on site, but they're stressing at this stage they're not announcing an evacuation. Some may question why. The council says they've been advised by the fire service that the building is safe enough for people to stay. After the meeting, Ray Woodley and his daughter Kim show us around. Ray's family have told him they're so worried they want him to leave. Well, I will admit, I've told Kimmy, that it, it has played on me a little bit. And I've even spoke to her, I've got a very good friend, and I'll talk to her about it. It's affected your sleep. Mm. He doesn't it's want to go to sleep. Um, is a, like, he doesn't obviously like watch his films or whatever, um, but it's like not wanting to go to sleep just in case. Ray was given a piece of the cladding by the original builders. Now his daughter wants it out of the flat. So, but this is the piece right. that is actually what they're saying it's is like, for. Here's your fire. Dangerous cladding's just one of the reasons why hundreds of flats have been evacuated in Camden overnight. It's thought there are now eight councils across the capital that have now discovered similar fire risks to tower blocks. Each one's being dealt with in a different way. Back in Hounslow, the scaffolding's going up, but residents won't be moved. The council says they'll be doing yet more fire safety checks on Monday. Victoria Cook, BBC London News.